Hello and welcome to the channel. This is a short video about how to prevent damage to your alloy wheels on your caravan, tow car, motorhome. If you're ever taking the wheel nuts off, you know, you might be taking the wheel off for some reason. Or you could even be talking the nuts up before a touring holiday. You could be using the wheel nut wrench. This is out of our caravan. You could be using a half inch drive socket. Or you could be using the torque wrench. So let's go down to the car wheel and have a look at it. The first thing I need is the wheel nut cover removal tool out of the car's tool kit and the car's wheel nut wrench. First thing is to take the wheel nut cap off with this removal tool. And this is where you could damage your alloy. When you're placing the wheel nut spanner onto your nut, you could chip this edge and scuff and scratch this inner surface. Unfortunately, as you can see, the caravan alloys have suffered scuffs and scrapes on these surfaces during its annual service when the wheels are taken off to check the brakes. Um, if, like me, you value your alloys, then you might be interested to see my simple solution to avoid this kind of damage. Uh, so let's go into the workshop. And my top tip, a simple roll of fabric wiring harness tape. I got this off eBay, four or five pounds, 25 millimeter wide, and it's got a nice soft feel to it. To give you an idea where fabric harness tape is used, these two conduits are held together with it. This conduit's wrapped in it, and these bundles are wires are wrapped in it. So fabric harness tape helps to cushion everything. You wrap the socket or wheel wrench with it and it protects the wheel. What I'm going to do with this wheel wrench out of the car, I've never used it as yet, I'm going to put some fabric tape around the end of this. Make sure there's enough to overlap the edges. So overlapped. Let's go back to the car wheel. I had to trim the tape off these inner edges because it won't fit on the wheel nut, but it should be okay now. Yeah, that's okay. And there's no chance now of chipping these edges and scuffing these surfaces. And same goes for the torque wrench socket. Uh, the edges protected around there. So I can torque the wheel nuts on the car. And the wheel nuts on the caravan. When you're talking your wheel nuts on your caravan, this wheel spat flares out, and meaning the torque wrench can catch against it. The only way of doing it is to bring your, your torque wrench down at this angle. But you can also use the extension bars, the short extension or the medium extension. These are half inch drive. I'll put the short one on first. And that just gives me enough room to get my hand between the spat and the wrench. So I'll try the medium one. And that gives me plenty of room now. Uh, what I do is I put one hand here to keep the extension bar horizontal and to press the socket onto the nut. Because if I don't do that, and I use one hand at the end of the wrench, and this socket isn't on properly, it could slip out and damage your alloy. So one hand there, and what I do is I start the torque procedure from the wheel valve and then I know where I am. So I torque 
wheel nut number one, there are five nuts in total. That's wheel nut number one, miss number two, torque number three, miss number four, and torque number five. I've torque number one, so I'll now go to number two. I've torque number three, and I'll do number four. So it's always best to keep your hand there, to keep your extension bar horizontal and to keep the socket pressed onto the nut. If you become unstuck and you haven't got any wiring harness tape, you can use normal insulating tape. I've wrapped some around this socket and I'll show you the difference. This is the fabric tape. So clearly the fabric tape's got better cushioning properties. Uh, I've done the car's wheel brace, I've done this socket, I use this for torquing the nuts on the car, it's a 17mm, and I've done this socket, I use it for torquing the nuts on the caravan, this is a 19mm. All I've got left to do is the caravan wheel brace, I haven't used this yet for taking the wheel off, but I'll wrap some round anyway, just in case. And that's my simple alloy wheel protection method. As you can see, I like to keep my wheels clean. I uh, like to get that brake dust off as soon as I can because when you're traveling, the wheels do get hot and if you don't wash that brake dust off over time, it'll just bake into the wheel and it'll ruin the surface. You know, you'll get yellow areas and black areas and it'll just totally ruin them. To wash my wheels, I just use ordinary Bodywork shampoo conditioner. This one's Autoglim, but I've run out of this. Uh, at the moment, I'm using Jewel Ultra car shampoo. I bought this from the NEC Caravan Show in October 19. Uh, when I ran out of Autoglim, I started pouring this into this container uh, because it's easier to handle. Uh, any marks and blemishes on the wheel, I use Autoglim resin polish and then periodically I'll treat the wheel with wheel protect from the wheel specialist. It says the wheel specialist wheel protect is a spray on ceramic sealant um, and it can be used as a standalone sealant so that's good stuff and oh while I was at the caravan show uh, the Dan Bright stand I bought the ceramic glaze. What you do is when you've washed your car and dried it off, you spray this on and just go over it with a microfiber cloth and it provides that uh, high gloss ceramic protection. It's good stuff actually. Um, from the Autoglim stand, I bought the Aqua Wax and uh, a five litre one. It does actually say express wax on this bottle. And I use that to top up the spray bottle. What you do with that is when you've washed the car, rinsed it off, you spray the wet aqua wax all over it and then get your microfiber towel or your chamois leather and dry it off. And it helps to put a protective coating on, on your paintwork and, and your wheels. Well, that's it for today's video. Well, thank you very much for watching, commenting, subscribing, and hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.